so let's start with um, uh, how we could use python and how we could use python and how we can install uh, python in our system so i'll show you to you for uh, windows any okay not a lot of things you will find a lot you will find a lot of articles for that so python just uh, uh, python in uh, google python.org and you will find the latest python uh, version over here in downloads and download for windows okay 3.9.6 is the latest you could download it uh, whichever time you will be seeing this area will this button will have the latest version okay so yeah so you download this you get an installer you install it it's normal windows installation and you will be uh, running okay and if you want to you go and check some videos also i'm just showing you i was just showing you the link go and check for uh, any article you if you want to more depth in that because i have installed it so that's all. so how you like write a how you could run python so most basic thing after installing search python okay if you search python over here search python i have 3.7 uh okay either you could do this and open it you could you open a terminal uh, i have uh, two three things i'm opening two three ways of running and python okay so yeah so open a terminal or a command prompt that you are using and if you'll run python you get ideally okay idle okay and this is a REPL. we call it a REPL. Uh, read evaluate print loop okay we call it what read evaluate print loop so you could directly use a gui option of it it's a graphical user interface so we could use that from just searching uh, python in windows you will get idle and this will this is a gui version of it so if i'll prior uh, if if I'll type over here any uh, any Python code and I'll end the statement like printing print hello world and I'll enter it it will print over it. Okay. it it's called a REPL read evaluate print loop whatever we will write here and whatever we will write here it will read then evaluate and then print whenever it's needed to print okay if a I'll print right if a it will give nine. It's called a REPL, read, evaluate, print. So this is a GUI version of okay, a GUI version of a REPL and uh, specific software. How do we do it in a terminal if you are in a terminal? You just write Python and enter. Okay, you'll get the same, you'll get the same REPL over here. So if this is REPL, this is in a CLI form, this is in a GUI form. So this is a graphic, we have a graphic, graphical user interface, we have a command line interface. So I'll write the same commands, hello world, and it will work the same, it doesn't change. So this is the same thing, but this is a graphical and this is an GUI. And okay, so same, if I'll a equals to nine, then print a nine. Okay, this is how you run, this is how you use a Python, uh, okay python uh, like normal statement you could run normal statements we'll see how we could run a full whole uh, python program after we write something in a file okay so if you want to exit it uh, either you could write quit okay you in terminal you have to write quit and uh, parenthesis or we could say braces round braces and you'll quit over here you could just uh close it over here from here okay so this is how we uh use python how to use python okay. from GUI and yeah. okay. this was how we use GUI and CL. now what we'll do we'll run up we'll create a, run our first run up for file python program okay so what are the steps if you would say so first step is create a file okay 
first we'll create a file okay i'm using a text editor uh, you could use anything you could use notepad also not a problem i'm using sublime so from here i'll go in file new file okay this is a new file and i'll save it in maybe in desktop okay i'll save it in desktop for now and i'll give the file name as first and you have to always if it's a python program yeah also you always have to suffix it or you have to give the extension dot py okay first the name name of the file name sorry name of the file and then dot py always uh, have an extension of dot py it will tell this is a python file okay so first dot py i created 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 a file then second i'll write some code i'll write some code i'll write the most easy code print my first python program okay i wrote a single line of code which will print it to the uh, any kind of output that i which will be the terminal for display for right now so how do we run this okay. how do we run this it has single line which will print my first python so what you do you go to uh, cm terminal okay you go to terminal you need to know some uh, some uh, terminal tricks in it it's like i am in nickel naidu right now okay nickel naidu and uh, what are this uh, what are the directories over here if i want to see it i'll ls and i want to go into what i want to go into desktop so this is desktop okay so i will go cd cd is change directory so desktop yeah so in desktop what are the things that i have if you will see i have here first.py and these are the things you can ignore for now and this is first.py so how will i run this file okay how will i run this file now so what i'll do i'll run python okay i'll run the first command python and then i'll give the file name first.py you could see python first.py and when i'll enter it it will output my first python program so this is how you run okay so this is how you run your first program using terminal okay and right third step is open uh, terminal and navigate to the file location then fourth step is uh, run command and the run command command python run command python with file this is our view this is our view uh, run a file okay so if we see again and uh, if it, if we'll write add some other code okay i'll uh, again use a equals to 99 and then print print uh, a and i'll save i'll save the file always save your file okay after right after doing some code changes you save your file so whenever you'll run it will run the latest one so the python first dot py see first it uh, printed out my first python program and then 99 so this was my first and a is 99 that's why it printed 99 so you will talk about that thing don't have to worry about it so this is how you run a first python program okay so yeah you could use ids for this you have a lot of ids you can go and uh, check for ids what are id it's like the normally an integrated development environment so my editor over here is different and my terminal over is different right i could do some configuration in sublime only so my terminal also is in this uh, same editor but uh, you could use some other uh, easy editor like vs code vs code is also nice a visual studio code so you have all the terminals and everything over there only okay. that's easy okay for now we'll uh, go by the hard way so we could just get to get used to it uh, using the terminal and then you could go and use for the visual studio code if you want to do the same way in visual studio code or sublime okay 
use some id or pycharm you could use pycharm it's also a good id for python uh, in, uh, made by or developed by intellij so they good, make good ideas so yeah so this is done so we'll get to the next video where we'll be seeing uh, where we'll be seeing the basics of python uh, starting from uh, variables okay starting from variables